G'day guys, it's John from theproductivegarden.com and I'm here with another Tuesday's tip. Now, everyone, especially with veggie gardening, has trouble with pests every now and then in their gardens. And, of course, there's always poisons and stuff like that to deal with it, but who really wants poisons being sprayed on their food? You could use organic sprays and that sort of stuff, but they still have a bit of a poisonous effect. So, if we can deal with pests in a more natural way without having to use sprays and that sort of thing then why wouldn't you do it well one easy way is just planting flowers in amongst your veggies flowers have one beneficial effect is attracting bees which will pollinate your garden which is aside from pests but the other thing they do is attract predatory insects to your garden which obviously they'll predate on the pests and that helps to reduce or control your pest problem so what are some of the plants that we can that we can use to be able to control this pest problem. Well, let's go and have a look at a few. Okay, well here's one, alyssum. As well as attracting bees, it also attracts hoverflies and some other predatory insects. Um, hoverflies are a fly that um, lay eggs in caterpillars. Obviously, that's not gonna be real good for the caterpillar, so attracting those guys is obviously well worth it. All right, here we have a marigold seedling. Marigolds um, repel nematodes, which are one of those things that can attack plants like tomatoes and those sorts of things. So planting those in your gardens can, can repel those nematodes, and obviously that will reduce the possibility of them becoming a problem. So marigolds, definitely a good thing to have in your garden. All right, and coriander too. If you can allow some of your coriander to go to flower, the flowers attract... attract bees which will help to pollinate your garden but they also attract posit, uh, predatory wasps and flies that sort of thing so allowing at least some of your coriander or cilantro you might call it in the US to go to flower that'll be another thing that can help attract predatory insects to your garden and that will in turn control the pests that you've got in your garden all right and other things you can do to help to um, attract Organisms or, or things to your garden that will help to control your pests are some prickly bushes that allow small birds, small insect eating birds to come to your garden but it gives them a safe place where they can go to the refuge if they, if they feel um, under threat in any way. So having some prickly shrubs somewhere near your garden will allow those small little insect eating birds to find a place in your garden where they can feel comfortable going to and they'll be able to help to control your insect problem. So they're just a few little things you can do using those plants, alyssum, marigolds, and allowing coriander to go to flower, and having some little prickly shrubs that little birds can, can shelter in. Just a few things that can help you control your insect, uh, your pest problem in your garden. As usual, if you'd have a tip you'd like me to cover in a Tuesday's tip, then leave a comment down, to look, down below, and I'll get onto that as soon as possible. So I hope you found this one useful, and until next time, happy productive gardening. Bye.